teachers or first responders, we didn't sign up for that. Signed up to be, to learn, you know, the lesson cycle and how to care for students individually, not how do I shield my child, my students from gunfire during the day whenever we checked our what's going on in the world, saw that there was yet another school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Every time something happens, I get contacted to provide support, do whatever I can to get them moving in the right direction or give them reassurance that yes, this is horrible, but things will get better, even though they don't look like they ever will. Um, and I take that role very seriously. We went down to Parkland, met with the union staff there, who was so lovely, and um, there was just like the sense of, you know, family when you go through something like this. Just having the opportunity to go down there shows how much the union cares about their members. And knowing that they have this resource that they wish they never had, but they're going to certainly utilize that resource to try to help other members and get them to a better place. I was thinking back, and I continue, I always think back to the time, um, January 2013, when we were visited by two teachers from Columbine who traveled all the way to Newtown to talk to us. And we sat around a table and told us things that were very hard to hear but also heard a lot of hope from them. And it shows the diversity of what the union can provide. Abby was able to take her unique experiences being in Sandy Hook building while the shots were going off and her colleagues and kids were getting killed. Okay, and I was able to take the perspective of what my role was as a leader during the time and after, after that happened. Okay, so I think having those two pieces to communicate once again shows you the importance of the UNI and union and how it's such a bigger picture than one person, you know? It's a collective effort. You and I in union.